When people think about the most brutal death scenes, they typically only include the saddest deaths in context, but rarely do people talk about the moments that physically impacted the victim the most. Welcome to 3D Commando. Today we're going to be listing off the top 10 most brutal moments in Call of Duty based entirely on the level of pain that the victim endured. This list will only include the games Call of Duty 4 all the way up to Black Ops 3. The new Modern Warfare series tends to be more grounded to reality, so there is no brutal cinematic death scene that would appropriately fit this list. This will make a lot more sense by the end of the video. The deaths and moments in this list will be chosen based on how painful and violent it was. To kick off the list at number 10, we have Dr. Clark in the Black Ops mission Numbers. After interrogating Dr. Clark and, and trying to get information from him, you are tasked to fight through the Kowloon City, where at the end, Dr. Clark finds himself dangling off the ledge. Although you are able to reach Dr. Clark, he unfortunately gets shot in the head before he is able to tell Hudson the truth about Nova 6. After being shot in the head, his eyes roll back and Hudson lets him go since he is now dead weight. On the way down, he ends up hitting a neon sign that surely crushed his back, never mind the rest of the fall. Considering the violent nature of this death, I would have placed it a lot higher. But since Clark had been shot in the head, that means that he wasn't alive to experience the pain of hitting the neon sign and then the ground. Lucky him. At number 9, we have the heart-wrenching death of Sergeant Jackson from Call of Duty 4's Shock and Awe. The helicopter they had taken to evacuate the city was caught in the blast of the nuclear bomb that leveled the entire city. After the helicopter crashes, we are left with a shocking scene as the player looks up in awe of the mushroom cloud looming over the blasted city. The radiation from a nuclear bomb is capable of killing all the cells in your body, including the nerve cells. Considering the proximity of Sergeant Jackson's crew to the nuclear blast, it's very possible that their nerve cells were completely destroyed, so it's likely that Jackson didn't suffer too much. He just needed a good view of the mushroom cloud. Moving on to number 8 is Josefina Menendez from Black Ops 2's Suffer With Me. Not only was her entire body badly burned at a young age, but she still had to deal with the political complications that her brother was facing. As we see in the mission Suffer With Me, Josefina is dragged out of bed by a soldier and he smashes her face into a mirror. Although Raul Menendez makes it back to the room after being escorted away, Frank Woods in a fit of rage at the sight of Menendez throws a grenade that makes it into Josefina's room. Josefina would die in the blast of the grenade, a shocking and horrible ending for an innocent woman. Now on to number 7, we have Makarov in Modern Warfare 3's Dust to Dust mission. Makarov is the only person on this list that deserves his fate. After all the atrocities that he has committed, his death was certain to come and Price delivered. After claiming Yuri's life and battling with Captain Price, Makarov would be overwhelmed by Captain Price as he wraps a cable around his neck and pushes him through the glass roof. Although I wouldn't give any real sympathy to a character like Makarov, his death was certainly one of the most painful looking deaths in the series. Most of the hangings that people may be aware of from history were done by rope, so you can only imagine the difference in discomfort with a metal cable. It is also very poetic, since his fate would involve being hanged for the crimes he committed. Next at number 6, we have arguably the saddest death on the list, Stoke McTavish in Modern Warfare 3's Blood Brothers mission. Everything was going pretty well in this mission until Makarov's steel-plated plot armor joins the conversation and reveals that he is aware of the sniping position and had a bomb planted in the bell tower. Soap heroically tosses you out of the window first, which leaves him to absorb most of the blast. This explosion had ripped open his side and he was bleeding profusely. Captain Price wanted to be in a safer position before trying to catch up to So, but his delay would ensure his death as he is bleeding out way too quickly to wait. Price's effort was in vain and Soap was lost. What really makes his death so painful is Soap knowing how easily he could have been patched up, but Price allowed his bleeding to drag on for too long. Up next at number 5 is Dmitry Petrenko's tragic fate in the Black Ops 1's Project Nova mission. After being tricked into an ambush by Dragovich, Reznov's crew, including Dmitry, were locked up in a room where Dr. Friedrich Steiner would test his Nova 6 gas and practice its effects on Dmitry Petrenko. Nova 6's key element is sulfur, and when a person inhales the gas, it will cause muscle convulsions, vomiting, bleeding of the eyes, and necrosis, which causes your skin to turn black, all of which leads to a painful death within 20 seconds of exposure. Although it was just 20 seconds of agonizing pain, the symptoms describe a truly miserable death. At number 4 we have Private Pyle from the intro mission to World at War. The game opens up to the player being captured and witnessing fellow soldiers being tortured and killed. Private Pyle was taking a ruthless beating to the face with a baton. The relentless Japanese captain is trying to scare Miller into divulging information and he does so by shoving his lit cigarette into Pyle's right eye. Afterwards they finish him by slicing open his neck. Pyle was a brave soldier staying strong and refusing to betray his fellow soldiers. Don't tell him. 
a fucking thing. His gruesome death will stay with me forever, but the pain is still nothing compared to the top three on this list. Now on to number three, we have Agent Hudson from Black Ops 2's Time and Fate mission. After being tricked by Menendez in retaliation of his sister's death, Hudson is lured into a trap that involves Raul Menendez tricking Woods into shooting Mason and then torturing Hudson right in front of Woods. Hudson was pleading that he couldn't die because he had kids, but Menendez wasn't worried about Hudson's family. After giving Woods a speech about suffering, Raul proceeds to shoot Hudson's kneecaps off, and afterwards, he slices his neck open with the locket necklace that had Josefina's picture in it. The level of deceit and violence that Menendez brought down on Hudson was brutal. It was one of the grisliest deaths in the series, and very shocking in context. Moving on to number two, we have Savimbi's soldier in the intro to Black Ops 2. Mason sees a soldier trapped inside of a truck while it is burning. He tries his hardest to break the soldier out of the locked vehicle with, with a shovel he finds nearby. The soldier fights desperately to break out, but Mason couldn't break the glass in time. He passes away in agonizing pain, engulfed in flames. While this character is mostly irrelevant to the story, he endured one of the most painful deaths a person can experience. He was burned alive, which trumps most of the deaths on this list in terms of pain. Before we get to the number one most painful moment in the Call of Duty series, here are some honorable mentions. Ah! Ah! Bowman! Ah! Bowman! You... you know she gets that from you. The single most painful moment the player witnesses is the ending of the first Black Ops 3 mission. Here the player is left behind after defending the objective. Robots capture him and what they do next might not have killed the player, but it would have easily killed someone in real life. The robots rip both of your forearms off one by one. Afterwards, the bot pummels your guts in. I'm not exactly sure that anybody would be able to survive this, but our plot armor plated protagonist was able to stay alive while the robot was turning his organs into a smoothie. Although the player did not die like the others on this list, it certainly makes it on the top of the list for the most brutally painful moment in the Call of Duty series. Thank you for watching. I hope you agree with this list, and if you don't, I would like to see your opinion down below. Yeah!